In this video, I'm going to show you 10 Chrome tricks that you must know. So Chrome is something that almost all of us use every day. And these tricks are going to enhance your overall experience using Chrome. So let's get started. So the first trick is tab groups. So if you're someone who has many tabs open at a time and you want to organize them, then this one is perfect for you. So using tab groups, what you can do is create a group of tabs which are similar to each other. So let's say you have five to six tabs which are open, which are for work. Then what you can do is group all of them into one and just call that work. So now I'll show you how that works. So let's say I want to group the first two tabs since both of them are related to YouTube. Then I can just right click on any one of them and then click on add tab to new group. After that, I can name the group. So I've just called it YT and then I can give it a certain color. And now the group is created. So now if I want to add more tabs to the group, I can just go to the tab and drag it into the group. And over here, as you can see, both of these tabs have been added to the group YT. And now if I just click on YT, which is over here, it's merged both the tabs into one. So it takes less space on top. And similar to this, there's another trick. So if you've tons of tabs open and you want to search for one, you can just click on this button over here. And over here, you can search for all of your tabs. So again, if I just search for YouTube, as you can see, both of the tabs which are related to YouTube have come here. For the second trick, I'm going to show you how to pin tabs. So if there's a tab which is kept open all the time because you use it often, then this will be helpful to you. So now if I want to pin Instagram, what I can do is just right click on it and then click on pin. And now as you can see, it's moved completely to the left over here. So now every time I want to go to Instagram, I can just click on it over here and this won't ever close. And it also takes less space on top. And now I'll show you how to mute a tab. So if you just right click on it, then you'll find an option called mute site. So if I play any video or reel or anything, I won't hear any sound. The next trick is one which I find very useful and that's to get back tabs, which you've shut. So if you've shut some tabs by mistake and you want to get them back, but you don't know which ones you'd shut, then this one is for you. So for now, I'll just shut these two tabs, Sky Sports and Wordle. And now to get them back, I've just got to click on Control Shift T. And for Mac, it'll be Command Shift T. So I'll just click on that now. And here, as you can see, Wordle has come. And if I click on it again, Sky Sports has come as well. And this is second way of doing this as well. What you can do is just click on the three dots, which are on the top right, then click on history. And here you'll find an option called recently closed. And below this, all of the tabs will come here. The next trick is to link Chrome on your laptop to Chrome on your phone. And this is extremely simple. So I'll just show you how it works. So if I have a site open on my laptop and I want to send it to my phone, what I can do is just right click on the tab and click on send to Samsung phone and now it's sent to my phone. So if you don't have this option, all you've got to do is sign into Chrome on both the devices with the same account and just make sure that sync is on and then you'll find this option. The next trick involves the search bar. And in this, you can use a search bar for calculations, for conversions. So I'll show you how it works. So now I can use it as a calculator. So I can just do 75 multiplied by 30. And here, as you can see, I've got my answer over here. The same way I can use this for conversion. So let's say I want to know $15 in rupees. I can just type 15 USD. And the first option is $15 in rupees. The same way you can use it for all other conversions like weight, height, temperature, etc. In the next trick, I'm going to show you how to save a page as a PDF. So if there's an article which you want to download to see it offline, then this trick will help you do that. So here, as you can see, I've opened this one article and now to download it as a PDF, I can click on the three dots on the top right and click on print or you can use control P and then in the destination, just keep Microsoft print to PDF. And here, as you can see, the entire article has come. And then to save it, I'll just click on print. 
In the next trick, I'm going to show you how to quickly search for something. So let's say over here, I want to search for the first line. Then what I've got to do is select it and then select the option search Google for. And here, as you can see on a new tab, it searched for this. So instead of copying it and opening a new tab to paste it, this will do the same thing in one step. And the same way you can do this for images as well. So if there's this image, which I want to search for, I can just right click and click on search image with Google Lens. And here, as you can see in a new tab, it searched for it. Now I'll show you three shortcuts, which are extremely simple, but really useful. So the first one is control T or command T for Mac. And this is to open a new tab. So now if I just click on control T, as you can see, it's open a new tab. Then to close the tab, it's control W and now it's closed. And after that, to open a new window, it's control N. And as you can see, it's open a new window. Now I'll show you a couple of settings, which are really useful. So just click on the three dots on the top, right, and then click on settings. Then on the left, you'll find an option called on startup. So just click on that. And this setting is really useful. So over here, you can decide which tabs should be open when you open Chrome. So they have three options. The first one is open a new tab page. Second is continue where you left off. So this is the one which I keep on. And the third one is to open a specific page. So let's say you want to open your email every time you open Chrome, you can just click on the third option. And after that, you can just click on add a new page and then put the URL for your email. So this was the first setting. And the second one is autofill. So again, on the left, you'll find an option called autofill. And over here, you'll find all of the details to autofill when you're filling in something. So first you'll have the passwords and over here, you can make changes or delete some saved passwords. After that, you can change the payment methods. And then the third option is to change the addresses. So now over here, you'll just have to enable the first option to save and fill addresses. And then you can add an address or you can edit one if it's already there. So to edit it, just click on the three dots and click on edit. And here you can change the street, the city, the state, and all of that. So these are the 10 tricks, but now I'll give you a bonus trick, which is extensions. So using extensions, you can customize your entire Chrome experience. And I've made a video on my top five favorite extensions. So you can check it out. So that's it for today. And if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.